what I mean to stop quick okay guys <clears throat> really quick I wanted to uh, hop on here because I literally literally just woke up from a dream got up got dressed and I was just apologizing to God one because of uh, idol idol I was I was making an idol out of um, a woman and uh, so that had to stop that's what that's really what the dream revealed to me um, it also revealed some other stuff to me as well um, some of you guys need to come against spirit spouses um, I'll say this to the men men test these women and how you test them you hold them to the word of God and you also pray about them when you become a man that walks with God and what I mean by walking with God, your life is a, your servant unto him. You know, every time I pray about a female, God will do one of two things. God will remove them. I'm talking to the man right now. God will remove them um, or they'll stay and, will, and they'll kind of progress. But I don't think that a lot of women understand that um, when it comes to me, there's always a test spiritually before before I come to you and I say, hey, I believe that you're a wife and I would like to date you with the purpose of marriage in mind. There are uh, tests and I'm like, wow, I'm like, wow, like, you know, and they, they don't understand, they don't know the whole time, like. God is testing him um, for me because I've, I've asked of that because I don't want to be led astray like Solomon. I don't want to be uh, led astray like Samson. I've been in those situations before. And it's by the grace of God that I made it out alive, literally. Um, they are very demonic women out here, you know, very demonic men. But um, <clears throat> there's a reason why God warns men even more so about women. Not only are there more of y'all on the earth than men, but uh, a lot of y'all are very wicked, and, and, and you and you are in your emotions. And uh, remember, out of the heart comes the issues of life. So, uh, still talking to the man right now. So, and this is just me personally. When you get to that point with God and God starts weeding out these uh, these wicked women and he starts showing you their true colors, you know that God really loves you. You know that God really loves you, I'm telling you. Now let's get on to women. Women, I've counseled some of you all. Um, I've spoken to some of you all. Uh, <clears throat> some as recently as I believe it was Thursday or Friday anyway when I tell women uh, they tell me what the guy is doing and I'm like okay I'm, uh, I'll smell some BS on your part and meaning that you're lying you're not when when you pray for a husband or a man, uh, and really what you're asking for, women, if you're if you're a follower of Jesus, if you follow the word and you live according to the word, what you're asking for is a husband. Okay, the head of every woman is a man. If you're walking around without a head, ladies, you're out of place. Um, I would say God has sent you men. God has sent you men of God. But because of your stubborn heart, um, you know, I, I've met people that have lost good men. I've met people that have lost good men. Oh, well, hey, he didn't look like this. And I said, okay, um, so what's wrong with you working out with him? If that's the man that God sent you, see, and I want to go back to men and women. We love to think that God is going to send us the perfect man. I got news for you. This isn't a Tyler Perry movie. 
Life is in the Tyler Perry movie. And a lot of times, biblically, in well, actually, in all those movies, Tyler Perry is actually wrong biblically. biblically. When you look at it, that man or female does not follow the word of God. And this is what we really have to we really have to be wary of. We really have to be wary of who we're watching who and how we're feeding our spirit. Okay? <clears throat> so, going back to women. Life is not like a Tyler Perry movie. You're not going to find the perfect man. What you're looking for in a man, you need to get in the uh, the book of Ephesians, I believe. Ephesians 5, I believe. If that man is willing to pray with you, if he's willing to fast with you, actually, a precursor is if he's already doing this stuff. You know, if he's on his purpose... And sometimes guys, they and sometimes they won't be on their purpose, ladies. Sometimes men won't be on their purpose because you're supposed to come into their life and lead them on their purpose. But y'all would be so headstrong. From the conversation I had, <laughs> from conversation I had earlier this week, y'all would be so headstrong. And the thing is, God is not going to keep sending you these men. God is not going to keep sending you these qualified men. He won't. Because there isn't a promise to you guys that you guys should have a man. There is not a promise in God's word that you guys are guaranteeing a man. So when you're led to one, open your eyes. Pray to, that God remove the scale from your eyes. When you can see the light in a man, that's, that's and that's nothing but God. It's nothing but God. When you can see the light in a man, you can see, man, you know, he on his, he on his, he on his purpose, he on his thing. Like he, he knows his word. Don't pass that man up because you on some rinky dink stuff. Some, oh, well, I'm just in my season of being single. I can tell you, fellas and guys, that's for both of y'all. If y'all own this, oh, well, I'm on my season of being single stuff. I can tell you all, it don't work that way. You need to be able to see it when God puts it in your life because that's for you. That person is for you that God put there. God gave you everything you needed in that person, not what you wanted, what you need. And that's what we need to get a hold of. Quit thinking that God going to give you a Lamborghini when you really just need a Camry. Quit thinking, that, oh man, you know, if, if somebody give you a busted, um, um, a busted Chevy Cruze, and you telling the dealership, oh, God's supposed to give me a BMW? No, He gives you what you need, and this this is this is the same thing with men and women. Trust me, I don't turn nobody down. I test their fruit. I test their metal. There's a first test, a second test, and a third test. Very few, very, very few have made it to the third test. Because they don't pass the first one. So, I don't turn anybody down. Because God knows your heart, God knows your spirit better than I do. And you guys need to be the same way. There's a reason why this person has been in your life, why this person has been around so long in your life. And y'all can, you can go to church with this person. You can praise and worship with this person. But y'all need to come at y'all flesh. I got to say it specifically for the ladies because I hear a lot more from the ladies. Right here, <laughs> right here in my back seat, I hear a lot more from the ladies. Y'all standards, y'all standards are ridiculous. Y'all don't want a godly man. Y'all want Jesus. Well, guess what? There was only one of him. And he's in heaven right now. Preparing. But God gives you what you need, guys. God gives you what you need. He doesn't give you what you want. If 
God were to send me a fat girl, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fat guy. If God would have sent me a fat girl, I know that I can work out with that person. As long as, as long as we pray together. As long as at 3 a.m. when I wake up and I start praying, her spirit connected to mine, automatically she's up praying with me. As a matter of fact, she's sitting right there. Okay, what scripture I need to read, baby? That's a woman of God that I need. She having issues at work. She called me on her lunch break. Man, I just need a word, man. I've been I've been going through this all. I just need a word. We get in scripture. We pray. She having troubles. She come home. She said, baby, God told me I need to fast. All right, cool. I know fasting is better when it's two or more. So I'm always down for fasting. That's why, that's why I put that in my, that's my thing with you guys. Like I'm always down for fasting with you guys. Let's fast and let's pray. Let's put this stuff together so we can knock these, so we can knock these demons off the foothold, off the footstool that they have in our lives. But I meet so many people, like so many women specifically, that'll pass over a dude that they know that'll do all that with them. Who cares if he doesn't go to church? Who cares? You will understand better if y'all read the book Church Mafia. And if y'all read this book right here, you'll understand better that it's about his heart and how he carries out God. I had a female last week tell me that. Oh, well, if you don't go to church, I'm like, Ma'am, you can't even <laughs> you can't even tell me the last time you prayed a fast. God removed you just off of that because that's something that I do in my life. This is something that is my life now. Prayer and fasting. This is something that is my life. I, I must live a life of that because of the calling that's on my life. I must live a life of that. I, I, I got people to free. So, I just wanted to put this message out here, man. Hopefully, th this will knock some sense in the, in, in the some of y'all's head. Like, y'all are passing up what God gave you because you think you're going to get better. And you can't get better than God. That's what that's what I'm, that's what I'm like being kind of being kind of personal with you guys. Like I don't pass up any I don't pass up any female. I don't. I put you to the test. You know, you know one two three. I put you to the test. And like I said, it's very few that have made it. That have passed. That have passed all three. And my exes. I was still in the world. I didn't put them to the test. But now everybody's getting put to the test. And when I tell you, God is a jealous God. So he ain't going to let you just come in my life and just sit there like a bump on the log, as we used to say. Nah, he going to have y'all He gonna have y'all here. And he's going to be showing me things about you. So I hope this helps you guys out, uh, men and women, about looking for the right things in a partner. And about the fact that you guys pass up so many people that can lead you all on the right path. And I'll say it again. Men, your head is Christ. Women, the head of every woman is a man. If you cannot submit to the God in that man, you need to, you need to check yourself. If God, Because I know God has sent all of y'all men of God. I know he sent all of y'all men of God. You need to check yourself if you can't submit, because what that means is that you're not you're not fully submitted to God. That's what that means. You're not fully submitted to God if you can't submit to a man of God and say, this is a catch. I'm not going to find that out here. And the same thing with men, men. God gives us many warnings about these women out here. There are three qualifications that I go through with women. 
and God takes out 99% of them. I said, that's probably, there's only been, damn. At all the women I've spoken to, there's only been one that has gotten through all three. So, if you want to know that, guys, shoot me an email. Um, and you can see how it works for you. It works for me every single time. Like, this thing's been ironclad for ever since I've been single. Ever since I've been, been single. It's been ironclad. We need some women out. And there's only one that's made it through all three, but, you know, pride coming before the fall. Um, so, I'm going to leave you guys with that one. It was definitely uh, put on me. I felt to put it out here because people missed the mark, man. So, you guys have a, have a blessed day. And to uh, just always stay with God.